Hi guys, it's Matt again from Oker and Thompson, and today we're just going to go over quickly how to start a job properly. Um, once we're on our main run screen here, we would go down to the bottom and hit menu, and there'd be two ways to start jobs. Oops, got a little click happy there. Um, start job, but you can do new job or from the files on the Viper. You would do from the files if you stopped midway through a field at night and had to shut down the Viper. You would start from a file and you go through it and pick the list. So we'll show you. We'll start a job here and we'll go through and show you how to pick it from file. So let's go new job. And our next screen will pop up here. Um, our job name. So how we would remind the job or how if we send it on Slingshot, what would be important about it so right here defaults job 14th year May 1st 1024 so that's a date or timestamp so let's just go back here and I'll name this one job 14 May 1st and we'll put in test so this will be a test job next is to make sure these are properly selected we do want sectional control. In this machine here, we are not steering with it, so we do not need swath guidance. It won't hurt if it is checked, but it, that one will only be checked if you're using smart tracks for guidance. Product application, so you want to apply product to that, which is good, and then we'll hit next. Since we're doing it just without boundaries, and most people don't use boundaries, you do a standard sectional control, the only other way would to do it would be create map from a field boundary. So if you outputted field boundaries to the Viper, you could do that. But for all intents and purposes and for simplicity, standard sectional control is good enough for everyone. So we'll hit next there. How many nodes will be applying? This will be the number of nodes you are applying from or the number of tanks. We will have three tanks on this particular unit. You could have four or five if you had a liquid or an hydrous tank added on. So three tanks is proper for this one. And then here we go and pick up the three products set up. So this drill was doing wheat on tank one last and you could change the product name so it maps properly and tracks your products right. Let's do, since we aren't doing wheat, let's do peas here today. And then we'll hit next. We'll have some nitrogen there, but we don't want to put too much, so we'll do a blend. We're just putting a blend down for the peas. And we'll hit next once more, and then the third tank. It says blend also, but we'll do inoculant. And this will go down with the peas. Inoculant. And once that is done, we will hit OK. And we will open this job right now. I guess a couple things to note before you can open a job, you have to have a green check mark for the GPS on the main run screen. And there you go. Our job is opened up. So the rest would be done from your switch box and make sure all your hydraulics are engaged for your drill. So you can go through the videos of hooking up your drill and ensure that you're hooked up properly. If we're going to be seating, we'll need fan RPM, toolbar wing constant pressure on the toolbar for the wing circuit, which will drive our meter motors. And then we will also need a pressure line for our openers. And our openers will be controlled with the switch box here on the Viper Pro. Ever since 2012, they had it, so you control it electronically. So there you go, that's a job. You can run, make sure everything's set up right. Here you can hit this and you can adjust your tank rates and everything. You can increase, decrease it, hit OK. If I hit blend, I cannot do it. I am just remoted in and it's possible that it has to be running as well. So up here you can see the different tanks we can map and our different maps area. Oops. Um, 
here DD you can take that on or off that's a fuel tallies our hydraulic pressure we want our target pressure probably of depending on what we're going in but we'll say 850 psi we're going in fairly mellow soil so we'll hit OK so there you go that's how we start up a job and navigate around in the job I'll do another quick video on how to resume a job if you had to quit a job or the pause. Thank you.